And now I'm going to show you the technique we're going to use to make this picture. And as you know, I spent a lot of time since we've been home trying to find things around the house that we could use. And, you know, you really come up with some really interesting, interesting methods and um, new ways to use material. So, that being said, you need a piece of cardboard. We talked about this. Um, it was on the what we didn't talk about. It was on the homework page. A pretty decent, heavy piece of cardboard, like from a carton, you know. Um, I wouldn't make it any smaller this way. It does not have to be this tall this way, but this is going to be fairly vertical. So it could be wider or bigger than this. I'm going to show you a bigger one in a minute. All right, so you watch the videos, you know a little bit about the jellyfish and their shape. Whoops, let's turn the light on here now. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so when you get your jellyfish picture, you can then kind of draw it on here and you can use a pencil if you want. You're really not drawing. You're just making a mark in the foil, pressing it in a little bit. I'm not sure what kind of jellyfish you would like to make. Do not make very much in the way of detail. All right. And if you put legs on it, well, you can have some fat legs. If you want some legs that are just going to hang down, they're not going to be colored in. So basically, all you're doing is putting a little line on here. Now you're going to take your glue, shake it down, hold it above, don't touch it. You want a pretty thick line. Now, some of you I know at home have those kind of specialty glues. You might have sparkly glue or glow-in-the-dark glue or something because you are making slime. Go ahead, you can use them if you want. All we're going to do is outline this guy. All right. So let's just do that. Nice, fat, pretty fat line. All right. If you wanted the tendrils that are just glue, you could go ahead and do that if that's what you want. All right. Now, when you have these big areas, that may be a little bit of a problem. You might want to make them smaller by putting a design. All right, either lines going down or some kind of rings that are on the jellyfish. Make sure that you don't have anything that really does not have that glue white enough that you can see. And guess what we're going to do, folks? We are going to put this to dry. So that has to totally dry. And of course, just like a cooking show, I have it now. This one I made, it's very big. And in this light, I don't think you can see, but these are pretty much see-through. And you don't have to make yours this big. I guess I just got bored. Now you color it. And I have tried every kind of marker and guess what they all work sharpies work the um watercolors work these um these are alcohol based which is is a very pretty eh, it's pretty expensive um the sharpies work really well so if you've got colored sharpies go to town and you're just gonna after this is all dry all the glue is dry you're going to color it in you need to Color it in. Don't, I wouldn't go over the glue. I mean, if you really wanted that to be a color, you could. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's necessary. Leave it the way it is. And you can see the alcohol markers work very well. Um, some markers, and I don't know why, I'm going to show you in a minute, they kind of bead up on the foil. But I find... All right, so it's this one, I guess. I find that if that happens, you can just rub it a little bit, and that that's good enough. All right? So 
I think we have a little bit of orange in here. That smells like a very good orange. Look at that orange. Okay. So as I said, I don't see a problem with any different kinds of markers. The uh, Expo markers work on it. it. It pretty much is whatever you want to use. You have to color everything in. Don't leave any spaces that have no color on the... Um... And you know what? You can even, like, on a piece of foil like this, you can even blend the colors. You just have to clean your markers a little bit. You know, you could put one color over another. Or rub them, t you know, maybe even rub them together with your hands so you don't get the marker all nasty. But here you go. I've already colored in most of this. All right. So let me see. Does it look any color-ish? Oh, I think I can see the colors better now with the, um, I got the light shining off the foil. All right, this has been colored in. You can't see it. It's a very light pink. That was a highlighter. But the highlighters seem to work. All right, now, when you get that done, folks, this is what you're going to do. Just like icing, uh, cupcakes, maybe more like donuts. This is the technique you're going to do. So you're going to take, you've got to be very, very patient. Take one section at a time. You're going to shake down your glue. You're going to put glue in it. You don't have to cover the thing with glue. It's just like when you do, then when you do icing. Then you're going to take a popsicle stick, uh, a plastic knife, something like that, and you're going to move the glue so it covers that whole area, all right? It does not have to be over the outside lines. It has to be filled in this area. And you know what? You have to have like a, you have to be kind of um, patient and do it kind of slow. So, you know, because you can see it's mixing the colors underneath a little bit. So if you have more than one color in there, if you have a design, you're going to be careful. All right. So let's try it on a design. You have to put a fair amount on. Don't get me wrong. It just doesn't have to fill it up. So like here, this is a really big piece. I don't know what I mean. Here, like that's more than enough for me to kind of just move it around the top. Now, it is one of those things where you got to get the whole hang of it because if you put this on really, really thick, even when it dries, it'll be cloudy. If you put it on too thin, it's, you know, going to be too thin and have little holes in it. So you're not, you're just moving it like I think, guys, really just the top. You don't want to move it underneath where the color is. It's just going to float right in here. I will tell you, you have to wait like a few days for this to dry. That I believe sometimes the um, the glue shrinks a little bit and you'll get these little pinholes or holes by the edge. So you just repair them. You just put a drop, drop on and do that. All right, so it's going to take a couple days. You look at it every day. And, you know, like if you have to repair it, it's going to take a couple days. But certainly, um, you have to wait until okay. So let me see if we can get this partially dry. Dry, dry. You can see the white here. That's been repaired. You have to wait. You have to wait till everything is see-through. And guess what, guys? It's it, you're gonna be able to peel it. And I still have to be really careful. So you can see I can't peel it anymore because that's too wet, right? So, because I had to repair it. So you just let it dry, let it dry, let it dry. This is Sharpie. This is Expo, the orange right here. I know this is Sharpie. This is um, the alcohol ones. This is regular 
watercolor. So as you can see, all the different markers work because the, the glue just adheres to them. All right. Now, in a few days, you could peel it off. You got to be extra, extra careful, but you're going to bring it back next week for the second half of it. Okay. Two parts to this. This is the first half. All right. So there you go. I think you're all set for this week on that technique of what we're doing. Now, one thing I forgot to mention, you can use your metallic markers if any of you have them. The only thing is that metallic mar markers will be opaque. All these other markers, one of the things we're doing is jellyfish are very translucent. You can see through them. And all the other kinds of markers you can see through. Um, the um, the metallic look nice, but you're not going to get that see-through thing. So you might, if you're going to use them, you know, just be aware of that. Use them in places where you don't want to see through the jellyfish. All right. Good luck.